my name is Abby and I'm a Chicago blogger and today I'm going to show you how to do your own shellac at home. So over the course of the pandemic I have been sharing my nails on my Instagram and got several requests for a tutorial on how I do this. I've been doing this for probably about five to six years now. I totaled up how much I was spending at the salon and it was just ridiculous. So I'm going to show you how to do your own nails at home. You're going to need a few basic supplies and I will link everything in the description below. Um, but to start off with, you're going to need a nail file, a filing block, a top coat, a base coat, the color that you're going to be using, cotton balls, fingernail polish remover, and your LED light. Make sure your nails are clean and remove all prior polish or shellac. And then you will be trimming your nails either with a nail trimmer or a file to your desired shape. I prefer the almond or round shape because it lasts longer and I like the look of the round or almond better. Once you have your nails to your desired shape, take your nail file on the fine grit side and lightly file the top of your nail. I cannot stress this enough, do not file off layers off of your fingernails, it will ruin your nails. So just lightly file it to rough up the edge just so that the paint will stick. Once you've completed the last step, you're gonna go back over your nails with the file block. This grit is gonna be even finer than your nail file, so it's just going to Smooth out all of the rough edges so that your polish applies smoothly. Once you're done with all of the filing, you're going to take fingernail polish remover and a paper towel and just go back over your nails to make sure there's no dust or any kind of residue. This will ensure that you have a clean, nice application of your polish and make sure that you use a paper towel and not a cotton ball for this step because if you use a cotton ball it will leave fuzzies behind and that will cause problems later. Once your nails are clean and dry you're going to want to apply your foundation coat and the best brand I have found for shellac is Gelish. This is not sponsored just over the course of the last several years. Gelish holds up the best and it just lasts the longest so I highly recommend going that route rather than finding a different brand. Once you have applied that foundation coat, you're going to stick it under the light for the full minute. I've sped up the light just so that we're not sitting waiting around for it to finish. I do my thumb and my fingers separate just to ensure that I get a good dry. Moving on to the color coats. Again, I'm using the brand Gelish. It just lasts longer, the color holds up longer. With other brands, I've noticed that it peels off or that the color changes over the course of a few weeks. With Gelish, I don't have that issue. I'm also doing my thumb and my four fingers separately. If I make a mistake or the product starts to move on me, I use my fingernail and just kind of scrape away that excess product. Since it does dry with the light, it's much easier to control than regular fingernail polish. When I get to my four fingers, you'll notice that I only do two fingers at a time and I really get into the creases on the side of each fingernail. The reason why I do two fingers at a time is because the nail polish does move away from the edges. So I like to cure those two nails before moving on to the final two so that I can ensure that my nail polish is fully covering my entire nail and I'm not looking at my nails a week later thinking I missed a spot when in reality the polish just moved. It does take a little bit longer to do it this way but I really think it's worth it to make sure that you have full coverage and that your manicure is perfect. Depending on your color and preference, you may want to do two or three coats. Since this color was so dark, I only did two in this tutorial. However, if I was using a lighter color, I would most likely be doing three coats.
Once the color coats have cured, I move on to the top coat. And again, using that brand Gelish, it's just the best I've found. And I do my thumb and my four fingers separately. And I do all four of those fingers at once because the top coat does not move around like the color coats do. Once I'm done applying the top coat, I run my nails through the light cycle twice just to make sure that all of the layers have fully cured before moving on to the last step. To finish off your nails, you're gonna take some fingernail polish remover and a cotton swab and wipe down all of your nails to remove all the gooey residue and you're done.